warp drive real? Can you travel faster than the speed of light? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. It just takes a lot of energy. Hi everyone, astrophysicist here with the latest on Star Trek technology. Star Trek first set out on its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds in 1966, but the physics for the warp drive was actually invented in 1994 by Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre Moya. Dr. Alcubierre was a huge, lifelong Star Trek fan, and he was directly inspired by the show to try to come up with the physics for the warp drive. Now, the question you're probably asking is, how do you go faster than light in the first place? And the short answer is that things in space-time cannot exceed the speed of light. But space-time itself can go as fast as it wants. Imagine a toy car on a track. The toy car probably can't go more than five miles an hour on the track, but you can pick up the track and you can put that track on a jet plane. That's basically how the warp drive works. You don't move through space. Space moves you. You create a space-time bubble around your starship and that bubble can move faster than light. It turns out that this is a pretty major engineering problem because A, how do you get that much energy to create a space-time bubble around a starship? And B, while the bubble travels through space, it accumulates gas and dust like a snow pile does. And then when you stop, maybe all that stuff explodes. Maintaining a warp bubble comes down to contracting space-time in front of your ship and expanding space-time behind your ship. This takes about the mass energy of 10 disposable red shirts or 14 gigatons of TNT. I say use the red shirts. Galaxy's not running out of them. The exploding snowplow effect is our other problem because when you take matter that's getting scooped up and moved at superluminal speeds, and then you stop moving it at superluminal speeds, you get a big explosion. So the warp drive as we understand it today is a little bit of a weapon of mass destruction because of its capability to destroy a solar system. If you've made it this far in this video, congratulations. Your reward is that you get to see my cool Kirk Spock tattoo. I also have a Romulan Dadera deck, a Borg computer chip, a Klingon Datlef, and a Borg pinup girl. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this one. Rasmussen out.